everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I decided to base an eye look around a lipstick that I just won. I wanted to play around with, where is it gone? Um, the Rimmel, Rimmel London Lasting Finish by Kate in the shade 54 Rock and Roll Nude, which is a really beautiful pinky nude, which is obviously what's on my lips right now. I was really excited to get that in the mail yesterday because I won it in a competition. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, this is the look I came up with. I used a lot of ColourPop and Chi Chi and a little bit of Kylie Cosmetics and a little bit of Morphe. If you guys want to see how this look came about, then keep on watching. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Excuse me. I am all dressed up in an actual outfit. Look at this, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> so, if you see lace sleeves, that's why. Um, today I want to play around with some makeup I got. I, I won this lipstick in a competition on Instagram. It's the Kate, uh, the lasting finish by Kate Lipstick by Rimmel in the shade 54 Rock and Roll Nude. I'm just going to swatchy swatchy. So it looks like that. So I want to do a look based around the lipstick. So whether that be pinks and stuff or whatever. I'm actually kind of tempted to do more of a pinky ready kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to figure out what I want to do. I have no fucking clue. So I'm going to do foundation first as always. Um, I've just gotten back from Christchurch. I got back not last night but the night before. Yesterday I just spent the day in bed because I felt like shit because i just driven seven hours and I was exhausted so I didn't do much to be honest. Um, yeah, it wasn't fun. So today I'm filming back into it. Um, and while I was in Christchurch, I only took, you know, two foundations. I took the LA Girl Pro Coverage and the Rimmel, no, sorry, the Revlon Color Stay in Ivory. So I'm going to mix those two together. This is my favorite foundation at the moment. If it was paler, I'd use it every single day, but I'm a bit too, too pale for it at the moment and I just look yellow, like bright yellow and it's really unattractive. So I have to mix it with paler foundations. So ignore my skin as well, it's flaring up again. Look at this giant one here, it's huge, so ugly. Foundation is on. Um, I'm going to grab my little LA Colors contour stick and I'm going to do my uh, lips and stuff. And then I'm taking the collection Lasting Profession Concealer and just pop that everywhere as always. The Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in Light Beige. And this big fluffy brush. Next, I need to bronze and stuff, so I'll do that. So I'll be using my Chi Chi Contour Extravaganza, as always, with um, 
this uh, flat brush and the contour shade. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the bronzer shades and blend out that contour. Uh, I'm just going to take the banana shade to help correct this bit. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest until after I've done my eyes because I want to make sure I have the right tones and all that crap. So, I'm just going to grab out all of the things I have with warm, pinky, ready shades. So, I've got a bunch of stuff out in front of me. I'm, ooh, what I, just, um, I actually might do my brows quickly first, just so I have a good base. This brush here is going to be used for setting the base. I just need to find a colour to set the base with. I'm just going to use Blur from the Dark Matter stack. I've been using this palette, the stack, so much. Oh my god, I've been using it every day for like a week and a half. Okay, first I am going to... Um, I'm going to go in with my Kylie burgundy palette and I'm gonna go in with Beach which is this one here and this is gonna go all through the crease as my first transition shade and then to blend I'm taking a Zoeva Lux Crease Brush 228 this is gonna blend the edges I'm going to experiment more with the Colourpop shades today. Let's go with this one. This one is called For Sure. This. And I'm going to use this blending brush I just used. underneath as well. So for sure can go back into the quick quacks. Um, I might pop the lipstick on now just for reference is working off Okay, so this is where we're sitting at the moment. I have done smoky pinky. I just put the lipstick on so I can refer back as to what colour it is exactly. Um, and I'm just not sure what to do now with my eyes. I kind of want to add a big shimmery lid, but then I don't know what colour to use to do so. I'm going to grab the Morphe 35F palette, and I'm going to grab a shimmer from here, because as you can see there are a lot of options. So, I might go in with a mixture of these two here. Um, I'm just going to go in with um, this shade here. I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Not my best I look, but we will continue. A black coal liner. I can't find the um, brand on these bloody eyeliners that I got from Shopless A. Uh, check out my last two videos if you want to see. Yes. 
one thing I have found with this brand of eyeliner, um, I used the brown one the other day. What day was? Sunday? I don't know. And my eyes actually burned after using it. It doesn't happen with the black one, it only happens with the brown one. And my eyes were burning and they were so sore. And it took like half an hour for the burning feeling to go away. This is the eye look with just mascara, no lashes yet. For lashes, I'm going to use these ones I got off Shop Rose. These are called, um, these are from the brand Cara Eyelashes and they're the number 523, are they? No, 702. They look like this. Spiky, spiky. Okay. Okay, so with that done, with the eyes done, I now need to add blush and highlight. So for blush, I'm going to use the Sante Mineral Blush. Um, I, oh, it smells, it smells like old lady. Okay, um, after using the other one, I know now know how to use it without looking ridiculous. So, I can very lightly. If you can see it. Normally my blush looks more intense on camera, but I can't see it in the camera room, but it's definitely there. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with my uh this one. video is done. I hope you like this tutorial using a new lipstick I've never had before. I just got it yesterday and trying to do a makeup look around it. Obviously the eyes are intense. I always do intense eyes. I can't help it. If you want to recreate this look with less intense colours, go for it. So just use a nice neutral brown in the crease and in the outer bits and then just put a pretty shimmery champagne colour on the lid and you'll be good to go. If you like this video then please give me a thumbs up and leave a little comment down below in the comment section and tell me what your favourite part was, what your favourite product was. If you want to see me do another video with any of the products I have used then let me know and I'll get onto that for you. All of my social media links will be down in the description as well. Links on where I got things will be all down in the description. Blah blah. Same as always. Everything's the same. Nothing ever changes. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Um. Hey Fats! Hi! Look at your fluffy. Such a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. So, thank you go. Ready.